what was the first thought or the best advice that anybody gave you when you were about to start the show? Trust your instincts. At the beginning, I was really doubting myself and I, I couldn't really process the fact that I was here and they were like, look, you got good instincts, use what you did in the audition and that's all we want, so yeah. Wow, all right, so how much of you is actually part of this character? Do you think you have taken some real life inspiration also while portraying this character? I'd say 95%. It's, a lot of it is just like, you know, having conversations with our directors and producers before we even started filming the show and they would just ask me about my life and about my high school experience. You know, I was 17 when I got cast, the character 16, and so we just used a lot of my real life experiences to make the character and the story as authentic as possible. Ms. Marvel is breaking all the stereotypes when it comes to how a superhero should look like or dress like. Do you think it's a big responsibility on your shoulders how to portray this character? Nope. I think, I think, honestly, I think our show's really good and I, I think it does do the character and the comics justice, which is really what we wanted to achieve because those comics just meant the world to so many people, me included, and, and they really organically incorporated culture and religion and fan culture and, and coming of age and action in just such a unique way. And so we just wanted to hit all those marks when filming the show. All right, I need to ask you this one. What was the most scariest day for you on the set? I mean, the point where you were really scared. When scariest would be when Kevin Feige came to visit set, I lost all ability to speak and act. <laughs> all right, so what was the hardest stunt to pull? Ooh, um, this, this one lamppost scene, I don't think it's, uh, yeah, the lamppost scene. We, we filmed this one in like the middle of the night in Atlanta. I don't think it's on our show anymore, but that was really difficult. We were like, it was so cold and they hoisted me up onto this real lamppost and it, it was just so hard to hear people's direction because I was like so high up in the air and they were trying to yell at me from down there, but it was fun and, and we got through it. All right, I need to ask you this because I'm a foodie myself. What is your favorite Pakistani food? Nahari. Oh, you're a Nihari girl. I'm a Nihari girl. You're a Nihari girl. Are you a Nihari girl? I'm a Nihari girl. My mother makes such good Nihari food. I must oh, say. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Nihari girl. Nihari girl. Girl, girl, girl. Thoda masala paake. Tila wala kulcha rakha ke. Nihari girl. Girl, 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 girl. <laughs> wow. Oh, Karam Johar. Yes, sir. This Nihari is ready. Two plates. Do you like it? This Nihari is ready. First, the food is ready. The food is ready. It's 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 I am Miss Marvel. I am a man Beverly Hills. I am a I am a man who is a man a man who is a man who is a man who is a man who is a a girl. a man who is a girl. But I am a man who is a man who is a a man who is <laughs> what if Miss Marvel could cook? I mean, Miss Marvel could cook. I mean, what do you think would be Miss Marvel's favorite dish? I feel like she's a biryani girl. I don't know. You think so? Maybe. <laughs> or like Matai. I feel like she really likes any sort of burfy type Matai. We call Miss Marvel. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the house.